This channel is supported by my online fishing courses, and you can learn more and get significant discounts at saltstrong.com slash Skinner. I'll have links to all of the gear in the video description, and if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. Hey, you're not going to be able to see the retrieve in the first couple of fish here. So this is it for the spook plug. You know, it's like thump, 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 thump. You can see the cranking hand. You know, this is a, a pretty slow retrieve. This is the objective. Get that spook going back and forth. Um, when you make those twitches, a little bit of slack after each twitch allows that plug to maintain forward motion. So, all right, and there's the spook. It's a big dark matter. Green spook, first cast of the morning going out here. Yeah, and this is one of those retrieves where you can't see the rod um, once I drop it to the low level. But uh, that water's a glassy calm. If you look out on the water, as that plug gets closer, you're going to be able to see it, and you're going to be able to see fish react to it. First cast, right behind it. Oh, right there. Wow, it's a good-sized fish. Oh! I don't think he touched it. I don't think he touched it. All right, drop that one. Uh, fortunately, there are more around. And you are going to be able to see the uh, rod on the retrieve on later casts. Okay, nice. Anytime you want to drop off, it's fine with me. Better act. 
access. There we go. Come on, go that way. Go this way. That's it. As usual, I crush those barbs down with pliers, so uh, they, they come out pretty easy. All right, you're in good shape. Just go. Okay, one more cast here, and then I'm going to move. That would be like four casts without a hit. Yeah, I'm not going to beat on this piece of water if I'm not getting responses, so um, I'll, I'll make a move after like five casts without a hit. Big ass fish. Didn't touch it. Oh, oh shit. Oh, that was definitely bigger than the other one. Eat it. <clears throat> Knock that thing out of the water twice. And it's almost a four ounce plug. It's like the previous fish. A little smaller. Now, I think you can tell by the way the daylight's not really changing that these casts are pretty close together. Uh, and like I mentioned, I won't go five casts without a hit, without moving. And you can see the rod action pretty clearly now. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. You touched it, but not really hard. It's hard enough because he's not there anymore.
think this, yeah, this is the best one of the morning. Definitely over 20. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, I think he's got to be 25. Maybe not. I'll take that all day long. Wow. Beautiful fight for that. Wow. I should really leave this bull, this, uh, I should leave this bulga unholstered. There you go. Still a nice one. All right, this will allow me to cover a lot more water. All right, I went like four casts or so without a hit. Um, moved, I feel like I need to cover more water. I've switched over to a pencil popper to get better casting distance. take around five casts here if I don't blow one up which I will oh there it is there it is oh come on get him past this rock Oh, that's the best one of the morning. Absolutely. Drag is getting sticky. Third season, I've done nothing to it. So if you're not seeing the rod, it's because I tend to, with a fish on, keep it really high up on the shoulder. It just gives me a little room to dip down if I need to. Get past this. Good. Nice one. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot like the first one I had this morning. So I didn't catch him on a spook because I didn't reach him with the spook. That's the problem with it. Spooks don't go far. All right, and I want to show another good use for the big spook, and that is as a culling tool. All right, so you saw that little striper. Um, yeah, I've got like a, a sort of a blitz going on in front of me. I've got fish popping up on bait, and everything I see is small. And I've pulled a couple of those small bass out of there on the pencil, and you see, I was just winding up to take another cast. I said, no, it's just, you know, it's, it's just going to result in another small fish. I would rather throw that big spook out there and um, maybe have the, the small fish not bother it and maybe attract something larger if something larger is actually there. And that's the thing. You know, they could be there and not showing. Um, so uh, caught enough of the little ones. Occasionally, you'll see one pop off to my right there. Uh, going to try the bigger plug. So this is the 9'2 uh, John Skinner Dark Matter Rod. 
uh, for working the spooks, th this is a great rod for doing that. Nine footers are pretty comfortable for working these big spooks. Tens, ten footers, eh, a little more difficult. Once you start getting up around 11 feet, it gets to be a little bit awkward. Certainly, eight footer would be fine, but uh, yeah, nine's uh, pretty comfortable. Get nice action on the plug. And this is a different trip than the one I started with. That's a good one. And that is a good one. So, so. <clears throat> Nobody took the tail hook. I've had people tell me that tail hooks don't catch any fish. A lot of fish on tail hooks. Okay, if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe and hit that notification bell and check out my online courses at saltstrong.com slash skinner. There you go. Okay, one little nudge. Okay. You are good to go.